Well, hello and how are you? Uh, alrighty, it's me again. This is our next blog. I don't even know what number it is. Let me take a quick look. 65. Yeah, that's right. Blog number 65. I think. Hold on. Let me check. Let me check real quick. We'll just do that. Bring that up. We hit this. My videos. My blog. Zip down here. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday was the Easter one at 64. So. Today is definitely number 65. Blog, 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 65. Alrighty, I'm having to talk loud again tonight because the, the uh, microphone is uh, not acting quite, quite, quite correctly. And you may not even be able to get this tonight. I'm not being able to access my internet. So, due to the fact that I'm not being able to access my internet, then I cannot upload. And so, therefore, I'm going to give it to you anyway. Then I might have to upload one or two in a, in a row, even though, even though I'm, it's not going to be today um, in this order. But you will see by the date that it is today's date, and then tomorrow you will see tomorrow's date. And well, I'll just have to explain that that's the order that they belong in. Yes, that's right, belongated in. Alrighty then, that being said, what was I going to do? The other day I was going to tell you about a story one time that happened to me. This happened to me. And it used to be one of my favorite little parts out of, um, let's see which book was it, Reader's Digest, I believe. Was it Reader's Digest? Uh, no, actually it was Field and Stream Magazine had this happen to me. I used to love that section. It was all about what was happening to folks got caught out in a dangerous situation and ammo being attacking on them and then chewing on them and all that whatnot. It there sort of thing. I used to read that in my this happened to me voice. By the way, I haven't made any progress on that um uh, whatchamacallit yet there, the uh um DOS I mean not the DOS for dummies, but the uh but the uh, um um uh, website for dummies. Haven't made any progress on it because I can't find a book. So therefore I'm not gonna be able to make no progress. You yeah, know how what I'm saying. Well, you may not know what I'm saying. If this microphone ain't working, you won't be knowing what I'm saying. Anyway, I was about born back in the old high woods back here and back there and in the olden days, I was born back in the woods. Well, St. John's, uh, St. St. Joseph's Hospital in the middle of St. Charles uh, City is not really back in the woods. I guess I can't claim that back in the woods thing. Back in the old days when I was just a kid, I remember it well. I was born that day and all the nurses, they just couldn't keep their eyes out the windows at me. They were making such a fuss, because, well, look at me. I was more cuter then than I am now. But that didn't stop them nurses from fussing over me. That's probably why I can take this condition the way I am now, on account they they uh got me all spoiled up, all them nurses taking care of me when I was a baby. You know what I'm saying. But that was back then, and I grew up a little bit and didn't have nobody take care of me for a long time. Well, of course, I had my mama, and my mama, she was my best friend, girlfriend. I mean, the only girlfriend that I had for forever because, well, she was my mom, and she was a girl, and she was my friend. And then it was time to move on to uh, kindergarten, and when I got in kindergarten, I met up with a girl that sat right next to me and we ended up talking and what not and everything and hung out and we were best friends for a long time. As a matter of fact I do remember I think I told you that I'd went and seen her at the hospital the other day. She's uh, uh, one of them uh, nurses down in ICU so I see you. When I saw her I said I see you. And she said that ain't the first time I heard 
heard that. And I figured it wa probably wasn't the first time she'd ever heard it. But, you know, if you can get away with it, then get away with it. Um, I, I was a flirt, but I wasn't really a flirt back in school. I really liked girls, and I wanted girls to like me back. And uh, I would talk to all the girls, and that was my downfall. You know, if you talk to them all, they, none of them feel like they can trust you. And that's just, I can't help it. It's not fair. I don't believe it's fair that they, that they uh, uh, don't feel that they can trust me just because I talk to everybody. I'm that way. I mean, I can't help. I'm, look, I talk to so many people all the time that I'm having to come up with this thing just so I can talk with you. I mean, it's it's not bad enough that I uh, that I don't uh, go out and talk to people. I've got to make out like I'm talking to you right here on the air, and you're not even here to listen to me. Well, right now you're here listening to me, but while I'm filming this, you're not listening to me. You're just out there, and well, I figure I figure if I can talk to myself this much, I can talk. I mean, if I can talk to you this much, my constituents, I can talk to my um anybody anywhere else all that much more. You know, I used to go to the bowling alley there and shoot pool. And, well, when you're shooting pool, you're talking to everybody around the table and at the next table or whatever. And nowadays when I go to shoot pool, it's just kind of, uh, I have to, uh, uh, um, just go around and coach. I don't really get to shoot pool because I can't get the hands to manipulate right anymore. I've got a device. It's a little, um, it's a little like a wheelbarrow thingy that goes onto the end of my cue so that I can push my cue. But I can't get a good straight push on it anyway, so it's just a disappointment. And me being as good at pool as I used to be, I play it a lot online and on the computer. But I don't play it, you know, I don't get to go and play uh, at a, at a re regular pool hall. A few times I did take my son with me to the pool hall. Speaking of that, I've got him a, a card, a Easter card. I'm going to just have to scan right on into the computer. Since how he's off and gone to one of them uh, army places. Uh, can't mention which one because you know how that is. Why in the world would I be a media? I'm basically a media. Why would I want to tell you where our our military bases are in the United States? You don't need to know that. I mean, I don't know who's listening in on this thing. I mean, there could be people from everywhere else in the world. And yet, I've told where our naval stations are. I've told all kinds of stuff like that, which was really ignorant of me. Ignorant meaning not knowing, but now that I think about it, it was really, really dumb. I sh or, or stupid. I should have not have done it, but I did, which is uh, stupid, I believe, is stupid does. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant to say. What I was going to say about stupid is the fact that if you, um, if you're stupid, then that just kind of means that you should have known better and you didn't do it. Not as opposed to ignorant. Ignorant just means you didn't know any better at all. And now that you do, you're no longer ignorant on the subject. You're kind of smart on it. Well, maybe not smart on it, but at least you're knowledgeable to it. Alrighty, well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to say, hey, there we go. Okay, then. Now, that being said, you know, it's uh, later in the evening than I like to do it. So I was just trying to let my roommate know that one of her programs is coming on television. She uh, likes the voice. And, well, tonight's when the voice goes live and we get to vote on it and, so, and stuff like that. Well, I figured I'd let her know on account she was in her room reading her book or something. Reading her book or sleeping, one of the two. I was trying to get her to read that book for me, uh, How to Build a Website for Dummies, so that she could instruct me on how to do it, but 
she would do it. Uh, I don't know. She likes to read much more than I do, so I figured I'd let her read it and tell me how to do it for a change. But that wasn't going to fly. Anywho, I had something I was going to talk about today, but I forgot what it was. And, of course, that's just the way my memory is. I, I think of something I'm going to talk about, but then I forget what it is, so I don't talk about it. And then I, I, I don't remember. So if I was to remember what I was going to talk about it, then I talked about it, then by memory it would be there. What? No, 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 no. I would remember what I was going to talk about if I had a better memory to to remind myself of what it was that I was going to talk about. But seeing as how my memory is not as good as it should be, then I forget what I'm going to talk about. There we go. Boy, I tried to pull that one out, Whitey. I say Whitey because that's Whitey Herzog when he was doing that uh, Aflac commercial when he was talking about the insurance. You need it when you don't have it. But you have to have it when you need it, and when you don't, when you don't have it and you need it, that's when you needed it. Right. That's exactly what it is. Alrighty. Well, uh, we're into it for eleven minutes. Uh, I don't know what it is. Hold on, just a second. I'm gonna try something else here. Well, I, I'm gonna pull this up. Yeah. And yeah, we'll pull that up. We'll do like this. Do like that. Actually, this is not responding. Come on. Do -do -do. Okay, here we go. It's opening slowly but surely. I must have downloaded some sort of a um, what you we'll call it, a virus or something. Some sort of a virus or something. Some sort of virus or something. Do 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 do. Wait a minute, not that. Da da dee 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 da. Dee 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 dee. Do 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 do. A bo 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 bo. Bo bo bo. Ah dee 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 dee.
God loves you, and so do I. You all have a blessed night, and we'll check you next time. We'll see you tomorrow on the big morning show. Well, I guess it'll be morning. Hopefully, it'll be morning. Maybe I'll figure out how to get this computer running up and running again. Alrighty then, you all have a blessed night, and we'll see you then.